There's a new group looking to make improvements to the city of Warner Robins. 41 NBC's Michael Warwick got a sneak peek at what's in store for the newly formed Warner Robins Development Authority. In five years, I'd like to see us have a true downtown, maybe not completed because it'll take a little longer, but you're going to see the start of that. Goals are set for the newly founded Warner Robins Development Authority. The nine-member board has a chairman and vice chair who for their lifetimes have called Warner <laughs> Robins home. You will find a very diverse um, composition of our board that represents all quadrants of our city and I think that was intentionally done to ensure that all of the interests of every citizen are represented. Their new jobs to give their hometown a downtown. Economic development takes on several different faces and our priority is to hit the ground running for those spaces that are going to produce the quickest return on getting some things going. I'm standing here in the middle of Armed Forces Boulevard and I don't really have to worry about being hit by a car which is the problem. The city is looking at this street, looking at this area, and thinking of ways that they can bring people down this road. Whether it's building lofts, bars, offices, or retail, the Development Authority is looking at what Tim Thomas called mixed use. We're not growing in the county right now, so we have to redevelop our older parts of Warner Robin. From Commercial Circle down Watson and Armed Forces Boulevard, it's a tax allocation district that would help fund redevelopment so long as businesses buy the properties. In Warner Robins, Michael Warwick, 41 NBC News. The Warner Robins Development Authority had their first meeting last Thursday. They'll work in partnership with Houston and Peach County, but never outside of the city limits.